This tutorial introduces you to the concept of supporting different layouts based on the locale of your application. While many of the languages have a layout that is designed from left to right, some languages like Arabic and Hebrew have layouts designed from right to left. Today we will learn about an overview of how Kony supports right to left layouts, the ability to mirror flex position properties and the content alignment, the ability to customize the layout at each widget, and the APIs to customize the layout at runtime. Kony Visualizer provides a lot of flexibility to design applications with any layout using its flex layout capabilities. To further help designers and developers support multiple layouts for the same application and without a need to redesign their application screens, we have introduced the concept of locale-based layouts with the version 8 Service Pack 1 of Kony Visualizer. With this release, Visualizer provides a few simple configurations to support layouts in both left-to-right and right-to-left directions. Now, let us see an example of how an existing application that has been designed with a layout from left-to-right can be configured to support a language like Arabic with a layout designed from right-to-left. This application is currently designed to support the English locale which has been designed from left-to-right. Now, I'll configure the application to support Arabic with the layout designed from right to left. First, I will start with navigating to the Edit menu and selecting Internationalization. This brings up a window to configure the internationalization settings. Internationalization is used to support various languages and regions in an application. Here, I have English selected as my default locale. I will first enable the checkbox to configure the layout. This enables options to select layout configurations based on a locale. Next, I will select the Configure Locales button. This opens the window with all the predefined locales available within Visualizer. Here, I will select Arabic. If you notice, on the right I have checkboxes available for each locale to mirror the flex position properties and the content alignment. Mirroring the flex position properties allows me to mirror properties like left and right. Mirroring the content alignment properties allows me to flip the content alignment. When I scroll down, notice how English is already selected since it is my default locale. Now, let us click on OK. This brings us back to internationalization settings where we will add the keys and values for each of the locales. For each key, I have added Arabic values for the Arabic locale and the English value for the English locale. Finally, I will click on finish. Now that we have added the Arabic locale, on the canvas, notice how Arabic has been added to the list of locales supported. If I select Arabic, Visualizer automatically mirrors my default layout based on the flex position properties and the content alignment settings we had enabled in internationalization. I can switch back and forth between both left to right and the right to left layout right within Visualizer Canvas. Visualizer also provides the capability to customize any of the widgets to have the same layout and content alignment in all locales. This can be done by using the Replace i18n layout property for the widget. Here, you can enable the layout to be custom and then configure the flex position properties and the content alignment settings to use the same values across the locales. Apart from the design time capabilities, Visualizer also provides extensive APIs to help customize the layout at runtime. These APIs can be used to configure locale specific capabilities like the direction of animation for the widgets. Let us look at an example. Here, I have forked the animation code for each of the locales. For the locale with left to right layout, I want the menu to animate from the left. And for the locale with the right to left layout, I want the menu to animate from the right. Next, I will assign the functions to my menu through the action editor. Now my application is ready to support both locales with layouts designed in opposite directions. Let us run this application on Visualizer App Preview. My default locale on this device is English, and as designed, the application layout and content alignment for English is from left to right. When I select the menu icon, the menu animates from the left. Next, let me go to the device settings and change the language to Arabic. Once I do that and go back to my application, notice how the content is changed to Arabic. 
Not only that, but the application layout and content alignment is also mirrored to start from right to left. Now, if I select the menu icon, which if you have noticed has moved to the right, the menu animates from the right too. This was a short overview of the local based layout configurations that help app designers and developers to design applications in both left to right and right to left directions. For more information, please refer to our documentation and tutorials on basecamp.coney.com. Thank you.